Hey guys, and welcome to this week's workout. I hope you're doing awesome. So today is the monthly patron's choice workout where I take requests from my patrons on Patreon and build a workout around that, around their requests. And this month, the requests were for a seven by seven workout. So that means uh, seven sections that are seven minutes long. So that's the format we're doing. And I also had a request for a hit workout for runners. And also someone wanted a lot of like cardio and ab work so we're gonna incorporate all of that into one amazing workout so um, for the runner aspect of it I really focus on things that are gonna strengthen the core um, activate and build strength in the glutes and also power in the legs so that's what's gonna make you a stronger more balanced overall better runner so that's what we're gonna do and of course there will be a lot of cardio and core also just like thrown in there so it's going to be a great workout um, um, for this workout, you will need uh, some dumbbells. I'm gonna be using my dumbbells, my kettlebell, I'm gonna be using a chair, uh, I'm gonna be using <laughs> my ghetto sliders because um, this is just a lid of a salad container cut in half. So if you're on carpet, use something like this, or if you have real sliders, then that's awesome, use those. But if, if you don't, use this. If you're on hardwood floor, then just grab some tea towels. And that should be it. Um, and I also wanted to remind you guys that if you like doing my workouts and you want to work out with me in person, that I will be at the Costa Rica Fruit Festival giving three hit classes from September 16th to the 23rd. And I would love for some of you guys to come work out with me in person. Like, that would be amazing. So if you're interested in that, please um, check out the link in the description. And um, yeah, leave me any comments if you have any questions about that. And yeah, so get your equipment. We're gonna do a warm up again together. So we'll do that all together and then we'll get right into the workout. Okay, so go get your stuff and let's do this. All right guys, are you ready to get started? Uh, the first seven minutes is gonna be our cardio warm up and activation section. So it's gonna be body weight only. So you won't need any of your stuff right away. This is gonna be seven minutes, 50 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. And we are going to start now, as soon as it beeps. And we are starting with jumping jacks, just to get the heart rate up. And let's go. Oh, I better turn my volume up a little bit. Keep going, keep jumping. Okay, there we go. It's really hot today in Victoria. Um, I wish I could have the window and the door open to my balcony, but it's super loud, so, and I don't have a good mic or whatever, I'm just using the mic on my camera, which I should probably invest in a proper mic at some point, I just don't really know what to get, but, um, yeah, so it's gonna get really hot in here without the windows open. I'm gonna be covered in sweat by the end of this, I can already tell, like, I'm already hot, like, on the verge of sweating. Okay, four seconds left. Great. Okay, so now we're doing three-way lunges on the right. So, lunge forward, lunge to the side, and lunge it back. Lunge to the side, lunge forward. Keep your core braced. Warming up the legs. We've got 15 seconds left. Five seconds left. Good. Okay, next up we're doing squat with core rotation. So get ready to squat. All right, squat and lift and twist. Warming up the core, getting the spine ready. Brace the core when you're up and down. Start to feel your booty 
activating. Fifteen seconds left. Last one. Good. Heart. Heart rate should be coming up. Three way lunge on the left. Left leg now. So forward, side, and reverse. Side, forward, side, reverse. Side, forward, side, reverse. We've got 20 seconds left. Really make sure you're keeping your chest up here, bracing that core, making sure your knees are staying over your toes. Last one. Nice. Okay. Now, let's get that booty turned on even more. Let's get down on the ground and do some glute bridges. Body weight only. Lift up and lower. Squeeze all the way to the top and do not let go. Keep squeezing on the way down. Keep your core braced the entire time. Squeeze that booty. You don't have to go fast, just go as fast as you want, but just really concentrate on activating those butt muscles. Nice work. Okay, stay on the ground, dead bug, or flailing bug, whatever you wanna call it. Tabletop position. Now, lower one leg and the opposite arm. Keep the arm and the leg that are in the air totally still. This takes a little bit of coordination. Activating the core. We're almost through our warm up. The last exercise is gonna be high knees. So we're really gonna get that heart rate up there before we move on to the next part of our workout. Awesome job. All right, last minute of the warm up. I'm sweating already. This is gonna be, I'm gonna be drenched by the end of this. High knees, let's go. Get them up, can you get them up as high as you can? Easier option, butt kicks. But if, you, if you're ready, get those knees up. We're halfway there. Brace the core. Come on, get the knees up. We've got 15 seconds left. 10. Almost there. Good job. Okay, catch your breath. Pause the video. We're gonna take a quick rest before moving on to the next section, which is gonna be cardio and abs. Okay, moving right along. Section number two, cardio and abs. First exercise is gonna be Russian twist. So you're gonna either do it just body weight or grab whatever weight you want. Starting the timer. This one is also interval based. 
So grab your weight of choice. Sit up nice and straight, flat back. Lift your feet up if you want or leave them down, it's up to you. Brace the core and twist. We're doing this for 50 seconds. We're halfway done. Make sure your back is not curving, flat back. Five seconds left, come on. We're almost there. Good. Okay, next one is a fun little combo. We're gonna walk into a plank. So brace the core, walk into a plank, narrow arms, we're gonna do a tricep push-up. We're gonna hop our feet in and back, do another tricep push-up, and now we're gonna walk back. And reach up, come on, let's repeat. Walk into a plank, push-up. Hop in, hop back, push-up. Walk back. Brace the core, reach up. Again, walk into the plank. Narrow arms, elbows are going straight back. We're working the triceps, hop in, hop back. Tricep push up. And, whew, that's a good one. We're almost there, last rep guys. Good, okay. Bird dog. Yes? Yes, bird dog. We're gonna do the right side. So get into tabletop position. Sorry, we're gonna do the right arm. So that means the right arm and the right, the left leg come into tabletop. So this is another core and glute activation exercise. I know it might feel easy, but if it does, you're probably not doing it properly. Make sure that your hips are staying facing the ground, no twisting in your torso. Your back should be not moving at all. Brace the core, squeeze the glute every time. This one is amazing for runners and for everybody really. This is a really good exercise. Good, okay, so now, we have that heart rate up. We're doing 10 high knees with two jump, tuck jumps. If you don't want to do tuck jumps, do squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. Come on, get those knees up. Three, four. This is your power move here. Only one interval of this. Get the knees up, brace the core. Fifteen seconds left. Oh my lord. Almost there. And we did it. That was fun. Okay, bird dog, other side. Remember, flat back, brace your core, squeeze your booty, activating the core and the glute, hips stay facing the ground. Last rep, guys, come on. Okay. 
You know what's coming next? Walk into plank, tricep push up. So walk into your plank, narrow arms, elbows coming straight back. Brace your core, brace, brace your glutes, push up, hop in, hop out, give me another push up. You can do this off your knees if you want, but don't hop in. Walk back. I'm just used to doing burpees. All right, let's do it again. Push up, hop in, hop back, push up. Brace the core, brace the glutes. Walk back. Pull that core and reach up. Repeat, 10 seconds left. This is the last one, you guys. Do it from your knees if you need to. Uh, saved by the bell. My arms are feeling quite weak today. It's a good thing we're doing mostly core and legs. Okay, Russian twist. That's it. We're almost done with the second section. Russian twist, 50 seconds left. That's it. Then we're moving on to some leg strengthening and power moves, which I'm very excited about. Again, you can keep your legs up or put them down. Just make sure your back is flat. We're almost there. And yeah, two seconds. Okay. Nice job, you guys. Grab some water. Towel off. We're going to take a short break. Just going to switch my timer up. Okay. And so the next section is going to be as many reps as possible in seven minutes. So we're changing the format just a little bit. <sighs> yeah. So for this next section, you're gonna want some weights handy. I just need some water. Here's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing 20 reps of each exercise. So 20 squats, I'm gonna be holding my kettlebell. That was weird. Anyways, I'm gonna be holding my kettlebell. So you just wanna push your hips back, squat down, keep your chest up, squeeze your glutes on the way up. All right. Now, after that, we're gonna do 20 squat jumps, which I don't need to demo. And then we are doing 20 kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings. And then we're doing 20 switch lunges. So, should be good. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna press start on the timer. It's gonna beep after seven minutes. We're just gonna keep going as fast and as hard as possible with good form for seven minutes. So let's start with 20 squats. One. And you can always uh, keep up with me, go at my pace, or that's four. Or uh, go at your own pace, five. Sixteen. 17. Squeeze your booty on the way up. 20. All right. 20 jump squats. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Quick pause. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that power move is going to make you a faster, more powerful runner. Okay, 20 kettlebell swings. Remember, you're hinging at your hips, squeezing your butt on the way up. Flat back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, 20 switch lunges. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, we've got just over three and a half minutes. Let's see if we can get through it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay, 20 jump squats. You with me? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, that's a power move. Quick rest. Breathe. Let's jump right back in, literally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab your kettlebell. Twenty kettlebell swings. Feet wide. Hinge at your hips. Back flat. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Squeeze the booty. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 20 switch lunges. We've got a minute left. We're gonna do it. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, 
10. We did it. 40 seconds left. Grab your weight, squats. This is it, we're gonna go to the end with squats. Squeeze the booty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. All right. We did it, you guys. Seven minutes. Down. Whew. Okay. Take a quick break. Towel off and grab some water. We're moving to a new cardio app section in just a moment. Okay, next seven minutes, a little more cardio, a little more core. The first exercise I'm just gonna demo for you, it's a single leg deadlift. Um, and this, you might be like, well, that's a leg exercise, but actually it's like a very good core exercise too. So it's a two for one. So you're just gonna hold your weight. You're going to hinge at your hips, send your butt back, draw the core in, brace it. You're gonna keep the back flat, keep the hips square, and you're gonna go down as far as you, you don't need to go all the way down to the ground. I go to about here, because if I go further, then my back starts to move and I wanna keep my back stable. So I'm just gonna go to about here, as if you're gonna put it down, but not all the way. And then just uh, sit back, stand back up, squeezing the glute and bracing the core, okay? So you're gonna wobble most likely. I wobble like crazy during this exercise, but that just means your core is getting stronger means you're working it, okay? So we're gonna do that. First round, we're gonna do the right leg. Second round, we'll do the left leg, okay? So I'm gonna start the timer, and we're gonna start with that single leg deadlift. So I'm gonna start with the right leg, and ready, let's go. Don't worry if you wobble. My form always looks kind of crappy during this exercise because I'm not very strong at it, but that is why I keep doing it. Well, actually, I should be doing it more often. I don't do it often enough, but brace the core. Keep the back flat. Concentrate. Feel it in your glutes. Squeeze your butt on the way up. Keep your core braced. Just focus here. Start to be feeling it in your glute. I definitely am. Good. Okay, drop the weight. Next up, we are doing speed skaters. I've not done these in a long time. So, you're hopping back and forth. Use your arms. Brace your core. Getting that cardio in. Getting some power through the legs as well. See how far you can leap from side to side. Keep your hips square. You want an extra challenge? Reach down. But brace your core when you're doing this. Keep your back flat. Fourteen seconds. Let's go back to the regular ones. Almost there, good. Okay, plank step overs. Grab your chair. This is some more core for you. Okay, come down to one side. Belly touches the ground. Push up in one strong, stable plank. Now come to the other side. Lower down, one strong. Stable plank, push up. Keep your core super turned on. Brace your booty as well. Work, you 
guys. Okay, what do we got next? Grab something to hop over. We're doing, I'm gonna move this. Six lateral hops and a half burpee. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come down into a plank, hop back. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, five, six. We're almost there. Fifteen seconds. Keep going. Brace that core in that plank. Brace the core, brace the booty, lower down, lift. Don't let your hips sag. Remember, you can put your knees down too if you want. Push up off of your knees, just like this, and then up into a plank. one but if you've got it in you then reach for it ten seconds can you leap a little higher a little further like a gazelle come on we're almost there okay grab that weight finishing up finishing it off with a single leg deadlift <sighs> on the left, left leg. Okay, brace the core, hinge forward at your hips, flat back, send the butt back, stand up. Squeeze the glute on the way up. <sighs> Focus. Guys are doing great. Brace the core. It's okay if you wobble. Just means you're getting stronger. You're training your core to be stable. Awesome work, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break, change my camera battery, and then we're moving back to legs. Okay guys, we've got three seven minute sections left. We've got two leg sections and one cardio core. So we're over halfway done this workout. Awesome job so far. So next section, we are just alternating two simple exercises. We are doing a single leg glute bridges. So grab your chair and we're also gonna be doing power front step ups. So, um, so for the front step ups, we're gonna be stepping up, power hop, Step down like this. And we're gonna be doing 12 reps per leg uh, of that. And then we're gonna be doing glute bridges, 12 reps per leg. Uh, if you're new-ish, you can just do body weight. If you want to use some weight for these uh, single leg uh, glute bridges, 
you're more than welcome to. I'm just gonna use the five pound plate and that's it. We're just gonna be re repeating that. We're gonna get so much burning in our booty and so much power in our leg from those step ups. This is gonna be great. Okay. <laughs> you guys know it's always my favorite thing to work the butt. So let's get down on the ground and get ready for our single leg glute bridges. Now, um, you're gonna lift, let's do the right leg first. So lift the left leg. If you're using um, a plate, you can put the plate on top of your shin. If you're using like a dumbbell or something, you can just put it here, or, you know, whatever you want. So. You're gonna push up with the butt, keep the core braced, feel it in your glute and a bit in your hamstring, but mostly your glute. Three, we're doing 12 reps. Keep your hips square to the ceiling. Four, core is on. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Let's switch legs and ready. Let's do it. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Whew, okay, so I think next time I'm not gonna use the weight so I can really just concentrate on really recruiting my booty and make the movement count a bit more. That was fine, but yeah, I think I'm gonna do body weight next time. Okay, power step ups, let's go. Right leg first, one. Two, three, really push through that heel. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Straight into the other leg. One, two, brace the core. Three, come on, push off that leg, power. Four, I want you to fly up into the air. Five, maybe that was six, no, I don't know. Six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, great. Okay, we're gonna get through one more round of that. Let's go, back to the glute bridge. Lift it up. One, really push those hips up. I wasn't pushing them up high enough on the first round. I was distracted by the weight, but I'm just gonna focus on form here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Eleven, twelve, 
yourself. <sighs> the trick to these is doing it with control. Don't just like flail up and drop down, you know what I mean? It can be easy if you don't pay attention. Okay, left leg. One, two, keep the hips square. Brace the core, three, four, five. Don't let go on the way down. Squeeze all the way up, all the way down. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo, okay. All right, guys, last set of power step ups. Let's do it. Let's get them all done. One, two, three. Come on, power up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, one, two, other leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, one, two. Well, and it's over. How did I plan that so perfectly? I don't know. Just good luck, I guess. Okay, nice work. Grab some water, catch your breath. We're moving on to our cardio core section. Okay guys, this is our last cardio core section and it's going to get a little bit crazy. So be prepared, but just know that after this, it'll get, well, I don't know. Is it gonna get easier? Maybe a little, I don't know. Okay, um, <laughs> so now we are gonna start with another seven minutes of intervals and we are going to be starting on the ground for side plank and knee tucks. We're going to do the right side uh, on the first round and then when we come back we'll do the left side so don't worry follow me we're going to get get it done. Oh and grab your sliders you need your sliders for this. Ready? Okay so we're going to lift up tuck Lower and lower. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Really push those hips up. I don't want to see any sagging hips. seconds left. Oh god. Okay. Oh, glad that's over. Okay. We're just getting started. Okay, commando plant burpees. Ugh. All right. Come down to two plank. Brace the core. Brace the glutes. Down, down, up, up and hop. Let's go again. Brace the core. Now try not to rock your hips from side to side when you're coming down and going back up again. You will a little bit, but try not to make a huge movement out of it. Try to keep everything stable and still. 
This is really working the shoulders and the core. Squeeze. The harder you squeeze your butt and your core, the more stable you're gonna be. Good. Okay. Grab your sliders. We're doing knees in and out. So, knees in and out, be out. Knee in. Out. Oh my goodness, my shoulders are done. Whew. You know, if this is too much, you can just hold the plank. But we've got 10 seconds left, so let's push through the last 10 seconds of this of the exercise. Good. Okay, guys, don't hate me, but it's time for jugglers. One interval. High knee, touch, touch. Breathe into it. Come on. This is our big cardio push for this workout. Right here. We're halfway. Come on, 10 more seconds. Keep 
going guys this is the side of my back that's like more injured not really injured anymore but still not 100 so i just have to be careful of it keep going i don't want to strain it last one guys push it up good okay do you know what this means it means we have seven minutes to go and it's all legs and power okay so grab some water and we're going to move on to the last section okay guys ready to finish this sucker off last seven minutes uh let me just show you what we're going to be doing so i'm going to be holding a weight for this uh, but you can do body weight or with weight um, it's pretty hard to do it even just body weight so whatever you want to do so first one we're going to do is pendulum lunge so we're going to go down pulse three low pulses two three lift the knee up reverse two three that's one rep we're going to be doing five reps per leg and then we are switching to our power move which is gonna be a side power step up, and we're doing 15 reps per leg. So you're gonna put one leg on, one, two, three, just like that, all the way up to 15, each leg. And uh, we'll see how many times we can do it. I estimate we'll get through it once, and then like halfway through again. I think that's what it'll, I don't think it's gonna work out perfectly like the other one, but okay, pressing start now. So pendulum lunge, grab your weight or body weight, it's up to you. Let's get ready. Timer's about to start, brace the core. One, two, three, lift up. One, two, three, that's one, one. That's two, lift, one, brace the core. Yee. It burns, that's three. That's four. And that's five. So let's switch legs. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's one. That's two. This leg's my right leg, though, is more wobbly. one brace the core brace the buoy good job put the weight down power step ups let's get ready 15 reps one two three Four. Oh, five. Wow. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Holy crap. Five. Oh, legs are going to be jello after this. Five more. One, two, three, four. Oh, five. Oh my goodness. Other side. Should have done this leg first. This one first. After those lunges. One. Two. Come on, lift off. Three. Four. Brace the core. Power up. Five. One. Two. Three. Four five 
five more. One, two, three, oops, four, and five. Good job, we're halfway through. Pendulum lunges, right back into it. One, two, three, lift, reverse, one. That's one. You can drop the weight at any time. I'm thinking about it. That's two. That's three. That's four. This is the last one. Good. Right into the other side. One, two, three. Engage your glutes when you're doing this. Come on, brace the core too. One. Two. This is sides two. for supporting me but also giving me the feedback to make this workout because this was a really fun workout and I wouldn't have thought of it if it weren't for the ideas from you guys so thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it helpful so yeah thanks for working out with me and um, if you guys also want to weigh in on future workouts then you can join me on Patreon and you can tell me what you want to see. 
So I always try to incorporate everybody's requests into the workout. So yeah, okay. Huh. I'm gonna go lie down. No, I'm gonna need to take a shower now. I'm just like covered in sweat. Um, yeah, but I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to stretch, drink lots of water. After this workout especially, please make sure you do um, hip flexor stretch like this. And also please make sure you do a glute stretch like this. I'm just not going to add my stretching routine now because this is going to, this video is almost like already like an hour long. So it's just going to be so long. Okay, you guys, see you in the next workout. Have a great day. Bye.